Hi there, my name is Terry Smith. I'm the owner of Adorable Deco Decor, where we make and sell wreaths and other types of home decor, and I also work toward teaching others to make their own designs through my wreath making group. And tonight we're going to be working on a uh, moss wreath. We're going to make a moss wreath with lemons, and I can't wait to get started. I'm trying to use up, I know, I keep on saying fall, 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 but I'm trying to use up a lot of my summer um, supplies so that uh, they're they're not sitting there on the shelf and uh, lemon decor has been very popular this year again and uh, so I thought we'd go ahead and do that tonight so and now um, as I said we're going to be making a moss wreath with lemons and um, I already have gone ahead and uh, prepared my base um, this is a 16 inch moss wreath it is on a metal frame um, you'll find some that come on a metal frame some come on a styrofoam frame I prefer the metal um, and I've already gone ahead and put a wreath hanger on it and I went ahead and made my bow also and uh, I love this ribbon I love I, you know I love yellow I use it all the time in my designs or when I can um, but I have this uh, I used actually two two and a half inch ribbons this time I put three loops of each ribbon on the first two layers and then I closed it up with just a small loop of the two and a half inch yellow with the black border. And um, I did use a floral wire this time to make my bow. You know, usually I use a pipe cleaner or uh, sometimes I use a zip tie. For my moss wreaths, I like to use a um, use floral wire so I can stick it straight through and it kind of blends in a little bit better. I don't like to butcher up um, my um, moss that's that's exposed i liked it to be nice and mossy so and uh, we also have some lemon picks I have several of them and we're going to put a base of some greens on before we get started so hey julie how are you yes jamie i did get a dress i'm not sure 100 percent it's the one yet i don't know I'm not crazy about it, but it'll work if I can't find something else. But I went ahead and bought it. It's going to need to lot, have a lot of length off, but it fits perfectly otherwise. So, hey, Claudia. Hey, Glenda. How are you guys? Hey, Cindy. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, the first thing I want to do, I want to um, put some greenery on here. Um, I say first thing. You know what? I think I want to put my bow on before I do anything else. And... Um, you know, usually when I'm making a, a floral type wreath, I don't use two and a half inch ribbon most times, um, but I wanted the bow to be make a statement tonight. So that's what I did. So I used the two and a half inch ribbon. And I'm, like I said, I used just floral wire. I don't know if you can see that. I used floral wire so that I could stab this right through here, hopefully. Got to find a spot. There we go. And that way, the um, you know the wire is not going to show up as much because it's the same color as the moss. All right, let me secure that snugly. Don't want a loose bow. I'm just going to twist it around a couple of times. I'm not going to clip it off yet because you know me, sometimes I change my mind about my bow, so I don't do that kind of thing until I'm completely done. So I wanted to have some tails going up off of the top. But I thought these colors would really pop on this um, moss base. and. Um, if you make wreaths and you ever tried to find a moss wreath base, you know those are short supply and you find one, you better grab it if you're wanting one. Um, I think I have maybe this one and one more maybe until they restock. But I'm hoping when I go to market this time that I can get a bunch of them for next season. Okay, now I'm not going to do anything with my tails just yet. I will dovetail them, but not yet. Okay, all right, so let me zoom in and let you see that. Oh, Marilyn had a good day in K 
Kamloops, British Columbia, or British Columbia, I can't talk. Um, what's the temperature now up there, Maryland, that nowadays? What's the temperature doing up there in, in Canada? I think we're finally, I don't know, we're finally in the high 80s, so I love that kind of weather. I'm one of these people that like the hot. So, um, I saw somebody was wanting to know, Joanne's wanting to know what the size of the loops. Joanne, these are about six inch loops on the outside. Now the inside, they're probably about four inches. As you know, I like to make my center loops smaller than my outside to kind of close in that, that uh, center of the bow. I am trying to get the price tag off of this grass right now. There we go. So, anybody else do anything fun this weekend? Julie Phillips, if you're you're still out there, when's your baby due? I never did get to find that out. I was just curious. All right, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put just a little bit of greenery on um, to on, on the background. This these picks already have quite a bit of greenery on them, so I don't need a whole lot at this point. I need to kind of move my stuff. I moved everything out of the way when I was doing a tutorial for our group yesterday, and um, I haven't rearranged yet. <laughs> okay, let's get started here. We'll start out, you know, I always start from the bow and work outward. Hey, Carol. Jamie went to a baby shower. I tell you what, it seems like babies are popping out everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> I know when we get the when we get the one that's due in June or July, um, we're going to be up to eight, eight grandbabies. All right, you'll notice I'm putting some of this toward the outside, some toward the inside, and I've got two bushes of it. I'm not going to use all of it just yet. I think that's enough on top. We'll come around now on the bottom. Oh, Ethel May says cold in Calgary, 10 degrees. Oh, that is cold, Ethel May. Right, let's go back up behind the bow here. off some of this. All right. Last one of that first bush. Find my other one. There we go. Oh, Gwendolyn's wanting to know what I'm dipping the picks in. I'm dipping it in my glue pot. Um, it's just a, a small electric skillet that I have hot glue in. I don't like to use, I mean, I do use a glue gun, but I prefer not to if I don't have to because I try to, I try to kill myself with it. <laughs> I'm a klutz, and I'm, I was forever burning myself, and uh, the glue pot, the glue gets hot, but it doesn't get so hot that it'll blister you. Well, I guess it would if you set the temperature there, but um, before I started using that, I was forever, I always had blisters on my hands. But with this, it'll, it'll get hot enough, um, the temperature where I put it. Uh, you want the glue to be about a honey consistency, and um, when it's like that, it'll burn you. I mean, it'll sting, but it's not going to blister you. And I was kind of a late converter of that, but now I'm sold. The first time I went, I went to a um, wreath workshop, and um, that's all I had. So I had to use it, and um, 
I was converted after that. All right, let's put one more in here and then we'll go on to the goodies. I just stuck that on this other and if, see, I can wipe that off. I, I, wipe, I touched the um, greenery with the glue and I could just take my finger and wipe it off. If it was a glue gun, I could not have done that. Okay, now let's start putting some of our lemons in now. And like I said, I have um, all these picks and some of them have um, two lemons on them, one larger, one smaller, and then some of them have just one. And I got myself in trouble the other day. I didn't realize that the little ones are different sizes too. So I need to kind of pay attention this time. And um, we're gonna, just like always, I could tell you, make sure you fluff it just like you're doing your Christmas tree. Oh yes, Donna. Yes, and I found out I'm, go I'm gonna be able to order some. I got that in the other day and um, it looks like it's still in supply, so I'll be able to order us some. Oh, Marilyn says it's 82 where she's at in Kamloops. That sounds perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fluff a few of these, but um, and then, then we'll start putting them on so I don't have to stop and do that later. Let me get the price tag off of here. Yeah, I keep on saying that I'm going to start on fall, which I did. I did get my fall ribbon out. I haven't got my other stuff out just yet. But, um, you know, when I was putting all that stuff up, I just kept coming across so much summer stuff. I thought I'm going to be silly to keep it around when you know people are still shopping for summer and it's not even summer yet <laughs> so I'm gonna keep on going with it for a little bit I'll get started on uh, maybe next week I'll get started on the fall all right for right now I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna make I'm gonna fluff um, one of the larger ones and then one of the or two of the smaller ones Oop, that was going to come right on out. Get it back in there. But this is a kind of a boring step, but it's a very important step. Is fluffing, you know, giving everything a little bit of twist. Pick up these little stems. It takes a little bit of time, but it's it's worth it. And in my opinion, you, do, you don't get the same effect when you wait and do it later. That might be just my in my head, but. And there's a lot of silliness in that head, but. <laughs> yeah, Nancy's still working on summer too, checking on your fall inventory. I know. I know, and you get all this, have all this stuff left over, and then you think, well, I want new things. <laughs> all right, so we have one. Let's see. Let's go ahead. I'm going to place these now the larger ones and then we'll figure out where we're going to go from that. I don't know how many of the smaller ones we're going to need. I just see a few places that I missed to fluff. All right, now I'm not sure how well these are going to go into this moss. Let me, oh it's going to be good. Perfect. I was afraid it was going to be too big of a stem. So I made a hole there so I can come back. Yeah. So I can come back after I get some glue on it, but you can see the stem is pretty pretty thick. So I didn't know if it'd go through or not, but it did. Now, if it feels like it's kind of flimsy on these moss bases uh, that are on the metal form like this one, uh, after I glue it in, if it feels Flimsy. I can always go back and put some floral wire or uh, run a, a, a zip tie around it if I wanted to, but I'd probably use floral wire myself. Again, just so it would blend in 
with the um, with the moss. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I love this already. I made a moss lemon wreath early in the season, but then I I, I just quit. Went on to other things. All right. Now let's, I put the, the larger one here. I'm going to come back opposite and do the same thing. I'm going to bend this around. Trying to get all my leaves going in the right direction before I get that in there. I said it's always a lot, in my opinion, a lot better to do it before you get in there than to wait until after. All right, so let's go this way. I'm going to put me a little pilot hole here and make sure that I can get in there. All right, so that one was a little tougher, so I'm going to take my glue gun, I'm going to slide it out a little bit, and then I'm going to put it back in so I know, make sure that I go in the right hole, in the same hole that I was. We'll pull it out a little bit. Not all the way. All right. Get that right up in there. So see, I still do use my glue gun. <laughs> in, in certain instances, I have to. All right. Put that underneath of there. Don't want to hide your lemons. Get these. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and we'll put a couple of the smaller ones in. Hi, Melody and Dola. How are you and Beth? All right, and I'm thinking I've got the two here. I'm thinking triangle. I've got the one. I get it in front of the leaves here. So I'm thinking just right in between here. Okay, just about like that. Okay. There we go. And see, when you use, I mean, you could buy artificial lemons and you could buy your greenery and that kind of thing, but it's so much simpler if you start out with picks. Picks are stems that have a lot of, of goodies in them. Um, that lemon is not wanting to stay the way I want it to. Hang on here. Let's see if we can get it. Okay. I was getting ready to say I could, you know, I may have to fix that with a floral wire, but right now it's going to behave, so we'll stop there. All right, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to mirror the very same thing down here. I'm going to scoot this over so I can do it with my right hand. Let's go ahead and make a pilot hole. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing I did on that other one. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to pull it toward me so I can see what we have now. Can I get an idea? I'm thinking maybe I want to keep the light, the top a little bit lighter. I'm thinking maybe putting another one right here, maybe right up underneath. 
another one of the smaller ones that is. Maybe right there. I was thinking maybe here, but I like it better just right in this area. Okay. All right, so let me, I need to go ahead and fluff this because I haven't fluffed that one yet. Hey, Jenny. You guys might have heard me say this before, but I adore lemons. <laughs> I try not to buy too many of them because I sit there and I eat them. And in case you didn't know it, if you eat too many of them, you can tear your teeth up. That's why I have my mother. She said she craved lemons whenever she was pregnant with me and uh, ended up tearing her teeth up <laughs> with all the acid, you know. But I love them. That's, that's probably why I do, because she ate lemons while she was pregnant with me. All right. I'm going to hang this just like this and try and get that leaf to turn the right direction. There we go. All right, same thing. I'm going to get a pilot hole started and then glue that in. I can find a spot here. Getting kind of tight in here. I'll pull that down and then push it back up in there. Hold it up so the glue doesn't run down. <laughs> there we go. Let me look at it here. I may end up, I'm, I'm not really a fan of these leaves right here. If you can see those. I may end up, actually I'm going to go ahead and do it. They just won't stay the way I want them and I really don't like the way they look. I'm going to trim these leaves right here off. We'll save them though because we might use them someplace else. Okay. All right, now let's do something with our bow. I'm kind of debating. I may want to put a little bit back here too. I don't know. But I want to go ahead and I want to trim my tails before I make that decision. So, hey Cindy. We're just going to dovetail it. This. I always like to have a little bit of something coming up behind my bow. I think it just makes the makes it look a little bit more perky, in my opinion. <laughs> I get my bow loops going in the right direction. I really like that ribbon. I had actually bought this ribbon for another project, but I just got it in today, the, the yellow ribbon, and um, it's the wrong shade of yellow. So I can't use it for what I intended, but I wasn't going to let it go to waste because I liked it a lot. There we go. All right, get this one over here. And I want to make sure that when I'm looking at it from the front that it's visible. Okay, let's do these. And I'm going to trim them a little bit on the long side here because I can always shorten them later.
Not really sure how long I want them yet at this point. All right. There we go. All right, I like that. Okay, all right. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, Sue, how are you? And there's Vicki. Okay, all right, now, I'm gonna turn it toward me so I can make a decision. Do I want another lemon or two up here? I'm gonna try it on for size. I think I do. I think I do. Let me, um, I'm going to fluff this. Um, look one more time. I don't know if I need all that greenery back there. I can always trim it off though. I just want a lemon just kind of peeking out. Actually, you know what I might do? I'm going to split these two in half. Okay. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Michelle. I just split off a lot of that greenery. Now I'm going to fluff this part. And my paper's disintegrating when I did that. So I'm going to clip this off even. And I'm going to put a still pick on it. I'm just going to use my pick machine over here. Right, and like I said, I want it just coming right behind the bow here. There we go. Don't want him hidden though. Just like this. All right, now do I want another one? Let me look here, see if I've got another small one. Just dropped one on the floor. I think I do. I do have a small one here. I'm thinking maybe one right in this area also, just to kind of to um, envelop the the bow there. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing with it. I'll have to put a pick on it. I don't want, or do I? Let me look here. I think that'll be okay. I started to say I don't want all that greenery with the, the long, long twig, but I think I'm going to keep it. We can always take it out, right? You saw how I've already used my scissors to get rid of somebody that didn't behave right? <laughs> or my wire cutters. Okay, all right, let me trim this end off and then we'll put a pick on it. Get a little bit of glue. And a big glue string. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come over here. Let's see if I wanna, I want him to come out about there, so. You know, you gotta think about where you want your item to end up, or your goodies to end up visibly. Well, and then you gotta alter your, where you're putting them in, 
so that you end up in that proper position. And that one was, I was running into some other stems. It's getting kind of tight in be behind the bow here. All right, let me get everything straightened out here. We still need just a little bit of greenery right in this area right here. And uh, I have some of these left over from that previous pick that we just used. I think that'll be perfect. Let me look here. Yeah. And again, I'm just going to trim it off even and then we'll put a pick on it. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Thank you, guys. All right. And like I said it's getting kind of hard to find this place back here, but we'll find one. Let's see. I want to end up about right there, so. Okay. All right, so I'm happy now with the way the back of the bow looks. I don't want to forget about the inside though, so we need to bring in, or incorporate some of that same greenery in there into the center. And I have all kinds of greenery. I can get it untangled and some florals. Let me get this out of here. But I have all kinds of greenery that I have left over from these stems when I've used them in other projects for this very reason because sometimes it's just too full and I you know you don't want to stuff it to where it's not you know it looks overpacked so let's see looks like a good bunch I don't think we need any more twigs though I already have a lot of twigs in this let me zoom in you guys I haven't I got to see it close up oh thank you Teresa how are you Oh, thank you. Thank you, Julie. I don't know. All of them probably aren't, Julie. That might be an overstatement, but thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, sometimes I get done and I'm like, oh. I'll have to come back and regroup on some of them. Okay. All right. I want to get a little bit of fern in here, too. I kind of had a feeling, I saved this stuff, kind of having a feeling that I would use it just as filler. And it's pretty unique greenery. It's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, um, it, all, it has like a moss coating over the top of it. So it's kind of hard to find it to replace it. And you know me, I don't throw away hardly anything. Just ask my husband. <laughs> Drives him crazy. All right, let me look here. See where we want to put this. I have to kind of... Okay. That kind of drape into the center. Because even though we have our ribbons down here, we still don't want to neglect our our middle of the or middle of the wreath. If you got a lot of empty space there, then it just doesn't look as full. All right, I'm putting it up together a little bit of greens for the bottom part there, too. Again, I don't think we need any more twigs. Okay. Oh, thank you, Robin. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? 
Yeah, and it's ironic because it didn't match my what I bought it for at all. <laughs> it's so hard to buy ribbon online or buy um, or match yellows online. Like I thought, I thought this ribbon was going to be one, you know, like the sun yellow. Actually, that's how it was described, but it was not. That's what I was needing, though. But we'll put it to good use. All right, and go up underneath the here for the bottom now. Okay. All right, now I'm going to come back now. I think we have plenty of lemons. Our, the middle looks good. I do want to come down now and fill some of the holes. I've got the, the previous greenery that I put in down here, the grass. I need to bring some of the other greenery down there, these mossy stems. And again, I'm going to make my own pick. Because right down here, all I have is the grass. I don't have any more of the, the other greenery. I need one of those little white flowers. Not sure what those are called. I guess it doesn't matter if you know what it's called or not because I looked up something. I was making some a supply list uh, today for a tutorial, and um, I looked up the listing, and all it said was little white or plastic white flowers. <laughs> like, like I could have thought of that. I don't promote myself as an expert in knowing the floral names and that kind of thing. I know I know several, but I don't know all of them by any means. All right, let me sneak up in here. There we go. Looks like I've got all my twigs bunched up in one place. You kind of spread those out. And if you don't like them, I mean, there, some of them are sticking out here pretty far. If you don't like them, we can always trim them off. Whatever your taste is. All right, now the same way I didn't have any of this greenery down here, I have the opposite up here. I need to bring in some of that grass up here. And I have a couple of more pieces left of it. Maybe one more right there. Okay, there we go. Now I need to bring a little bit on that to the inside also. Okay. All right, and I feel like I need a little bit more right down here also. Okay. Looks pretty full on camera there, doesn't it? All right, I feel like I need a couple more pieces of grass here. I've got one more bush over here to the side. I've got a mess of twigs. I don't ever throw these away though. Those, well, this part, yes, but um, these little twigs, because they're bendable and everything, I save all those. I got a twig box, I got a leaf box. <laughs> Get it out of the way. Okay. All right, now I think, like I said, I think we need 
one or two more pieces of grass down there. Oh, hey, Zuli, how are you? Thank you. How is it down in Puerto Rico today? All right, and one more right here. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn it toward me now and kind of see where we're at. I feel like we need just a little bit of grass coming out up here at the top. Let me look and see what that's going to look like. I don't want it to cover up my, my lemons, but yes. Okay. We're going to stick that right up underneath that bow. So it looks like we have grass here, grass there, but not anything right there. And I was just checking to make sure it wasn't going to cover my lemons. Get all my loops fixed. Okay, I had brought another floral to add, but I don't think it has that, you know, it has these white berry-like things too. Actually, I might even move one of them. I might move one of them in here. I feel like this one's out too far, too long, and it needs to go more toward the middle. I think it needs to go right in this area right here. Okay. Um, but I was thinking I was going to add another floral, but I don't think it needs it. I really don't. I think it I think we looks pretty good the way it is. All right, now I need to do a little something in the, the bow there. Let's see what other kind of greenery I've got here. I do have this moss covered. The only thing, I'm a little worried that it might bleed um, because it, it fi feels like the moss is on there. You know, moss, anytime you're, you mess with moss, it gets, it's messy. I don't want to use it on there even though I really want to. I'm afraid it'll bleed, and I don't want that to happen. Let's see what else I can put in there. I can borrow something from down here. All right, I'm just going to stick a few little pieces in here just to make it look like the bow is incorporated into the design. lost my other leaf. Where'd it go? Did I already put it in there? No. All right, well, I'm going to take another one then. Just had it in my hand. <laughs> Alright, 
Let's get a few more of those. Actually, here's a big one. You just got to kind of play around with it and see where you, where it looks right. Kind of like it right there. All right, and I need something up in here. crazy about that. Let me change that up just a little bit. There we go. All right. Let me turn it toward me and get one more look. I'm missing a conversation. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Zuli. That's terrible. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sally. Oh, Valerie's wanting to know when you decide, how do you decide when you stop? <laughs> Well, that's the magic question, Valerie, <laughs> when you're done. <laughs> um, I tell you, I, I get to a point where I stop, but then I come back later and I look at it again. And um, sometimes when you look at it with a fresh eye, you'll see, you'll thought, you know, you, know, you thought you were done, but you aren't. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a, you just gotta you've got to find balance between too much and too sparse um, I know that's not a good answer but it's that's a tough one to dis to describe oh thank you thank you Valerie thank you Amy I didn't see you out there how are you? oh well you're just getting here that's why oh thank you Connie and Sherry thank you all right I'm gonna turn it toward me now and uh, see how we're doing and I think we're getting we're close to done if we're not already. Let me look here. Yeah, it just comes with experience, Valerie. Um, just doing it over and over. And some people, I mean, it, it depends on your taste too. Some people like a little less than others. Um, I always say this. My you know my own mother tells me I put too much on mine. But um, I like it that way, so. Okay, I think we're done. I like it. I like it. You could always add another lemon down here, but I kind of wanted the weight of the wreath going down. I kind of wanted the weight of the wreath going this way. It could maybe add another lemon here. That's one of those instances where I'm going to stop and I'll think about it. I'll come back and I'll decide later whether I'm going to add that or not. But, oh, thank you, Claudia. Kathy says, the more the better. <laughs> thank you, Jamie. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Hi, Karen. All right. All right, well, that's all I have for you tonight. Came together pretty quickly, I think. It was a fun. I, I, I love working with uh, bright and cheery colors like this. 
and florals and florals so okay all right let me go through and see if i missed any questions oh donna facebook kept freezing on you i'm sorry yeah they're doing so many changes right now it's just been a mess it's just been a mess oh thank you valerie i appreciate it i'm gonna look and see if i see any questions i missed Okay. All right. I don't see any questions. Hey, Megan. So, all right. Well, like always, this uh, I do have a post in the comments um, where it'll take you, in case you're interested to purchase this wreath, uh, it'll take you right to my Etsy shop. And um, otherwise, it'll be listed in my Etsy shop probably tomorrow. And as I said earlier, I always come back and I revisit and add things as I think need to be done um, when I come down with a fresh eye tomorrow and fill in holes and that kind of thing. But I love it. I think it's bright and cheery. I love the moss wreath with it, with the lemons. I just think it's beautiful. So, oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you. I, I am so grateful for all you guys always being here and always being so supportive. We've got a great bunch of people uh, in our community, and uh, we're really fortunate. So, oh, thank you, Glenda. Cindy says it makes you happy to look at it. Well, I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm glad. All right, all right. Well, that's all I have for you tonight. Um, I will be live then Tuesday. We'll be doing bows. I for sure will be doing some fall bows though. Um, I do need to get that going, and. Um, Let's see, the Friday, or Tuesday, it will be about 1 o'clock, and then, uh, then Friday will be the next day after that. So, okay? Oh, <laughs> Ethel May, you bought this one too. Bless your heart. Well, thank you so much. I hope all those wreaths, Ma Ethel May has bought wreaths. She's in Canada, but the Canadian border is not open. When does it open? It's soon, though, isn't it, Ethel May? I think you told me either June or July, but um, but anyway, I just I fingers crossed. I hope that everything's okay whenever it gets there. She has everything in a holding place in Montana, so. But thank you, thank you. You're going to have a lot of wreaths for your home, Ethel May. So, all right. Well, you guys have a great rest of your evening, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much. Bye bye.